So before I get to this bad end in particular, as a quick note, for those who are waiting until the last possible days to do Madarame's Palace, the 31st is this the is last day you have to go in, being that you have to return to it three days. You have to go in once, reach the barrier, go in a second time to get Yusuke, then go in the third time in order to secure the route to uh, the palace's uh, uh, treasure. So if you do not do it on the 31st, you will be permanently locked out of, uh, well, not permanently, you could always reload a prior save, but uh, you'll be locked out of being able to finish Madarame's mansion or uh, palace because the fourth day or two days left until the end of the exhibit uh, has to be the calling card and the last day has to be the boss for a total of five days. So yeah, we'll see y'all at the bad end. And unlike uh, no way. Kamashita's, it actually skips us ahead if we miss the date. Which is actually pretty nice. Hey. Coffee good for you? That is your name, yes? Yeah, but why do you ask? I literally didn't do anything this time. I avoided all the problematic shit. What, what are you doing? Charges have been filed against you. The person why? who raised these allegations is Ichi Ryusai Matarame. I Again, assume you know him? Uh, actually, I don't. I completely avoided it. it. We wouldn't be here right now. However, your prior criminal assault means you are currently on probation, correct? Yeah, I literally did nothing wrong. I avoided the entire palace. Did nothing for that entire stretch. So why is he pressing charges against me? Didn't I tell you to behave yourself? I did! Well then, you're coming with us. I'm sorry, but it has to be now. Seriously? What a disappointment. Which, unfortunately, actually means this doesn't change if we wait until after we get Yusuke. Fantastic. I thought it was actually slightly different. You know, maybe Yusuke is game ended himself. And this is all the same. Anyways, maybe Yusuke game ended himself and uh, it all... Like, I, I thought that that would be the route. Like, Yusuke took himself out and somehow incriminated us with a description or something. But I guess we'll see y'all to the proper ending of this particular arc. See you soon. Alright. Last day. Time for Madarame to have a change of heart. What's up with that old geezer? <gasps> Is he crying? I... I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plainly put, I... Uh, plagiarized work. I... I tainted this... This country's art world and... and even Sayuri... How could I... I possibly apologize to... To everyone for for what I've done. <laughs> <laughs> He's crying way too much. <laughs> and that was from the urgent apology conference by Matarame that took place just a moment ago. After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wasn't he on TV the other day? On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and... That old man's done for. 
After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. Why'd he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame's exhibit. The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Phantom Thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Maybe. Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. Phantom thieves, huh? Nope. Oh. Phantom thieves again. More playing the game of See Who's the Practicus. Did you guys see the news about Matarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. And they mentioned the Phantom Thieves. Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal. I don't know. Got it pretty close on that last boss. Man, you're so indifferent. Then again, doesn't that make him more trustworthy as our leader? As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Something like this happening twice is massive, too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. We may want to quiet down a little. Do you know them? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? No, but ah, you're going to yes. anyways. How can we help you? That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. What are you all doing here? Are you friends? We wanted some tea. Hmm, is that so? And how would you do that in a place like this? Oh, there's a lot of places we that were offer just tea. just discussing where we should go. Well, all right. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful. It's still light out. Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Look at us. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? Wow, who'd have thought? Look around, we're the only people worrying about it. I guess you're right. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Matarame? Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well, I pressed him for answers. But he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen, after all. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw on such a place anymore. Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge thanks to my fine arts scholarship. A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as well. Wait, what? You know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. You moron! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. <sighs> and it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Matarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. Alright, guess it's just more prep till then.
Yusuke Kitagawa. Kodo, you should probably keep your nose out of this. Really don't want to be dragged into yet another problem. So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? Hey, take it out, you will. <clears throat> Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Now then, tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. Then do your investigation. Go right ahead. So you won't sell out your accomplice? <sighs> Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Now your next target was this man, Junya Kaneshiro. He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So, exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. Oh, this one's quite the tell. The suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Madarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. <sighs> Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. This situation must be approached with the utmost seriousness. I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. Not only are there these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed... <sighs> oh! Sure, fuck it. You know. So this is actually ah. where, uh, gonna lead actually where I have been saving the, uh, sooty clothing for. Yeah! Kichi Joji? Oh. Let's go! Uh, before, oh, actually, yeah, before going that way, I 
Can I grab this? Come no, on, I man. can't. I just want to have my Jamba Juice. Hey! Alright, let's go! So that takes us to a different shopping center. Alright. Kichi Joji. Now, we're heading to an area that's outside of where your commuter pass works. So make sure you've got the fare. Interesting. Right? All right. <sighs> you seem suspicious. Uh, um, yes, a coincidence indeed. Uh, um... there. Hey, any questions? Yes, all of them. Well then. If you ask, if you go through all the dialogue options, we get a free knowledge uh, bump. <sighs> yes. God, it feels like talking to that one dude in freaking uh, Final Fantasy X-2. Where you have to sit through his entire three-part long-winded speech about various places. Well then. I yes. accidentally picked the wrong thing. Yes. I meant to go. Well then. What do you recommend? Anyways, the uh, entire three different location dialogue that you have to just sit there and listen. What? Well then, did you know? Good old promenades. Well then, <sighs> um, okay. well then. This is the thing I was talking about. I specifically want sooty clothing. If we go over there, I can turn my sooty clothing in for Actually. other things. And I've collected a lot of sooty clothing. Come again. Oh. So a no like bump. And this is the second hey. hand clothes that uh Hmm. Yeah, I've got sooty clothing, so let's head on in. Hi, Makoto. So, by coming in here... Nice. I can turn all of my sooty clothing in. Hmm. Hmm. I want to sell. Welcome! Get a lot of money for this. Which is going to get me 420 points. A achievement, Trash to Treasures, Sold Old Clothing. And I can use this. Grab this, Auto Masuku Kaja. This is an amazing item to have. Want to go on and grab the Awake and... I might as well go on and grab one of these. I'll just buy one of each. Awakened since they're pretty nice. Hey, hey! And I get two 
ghastly dresses and one old, hmm. uh, two old something or others. Hey. Which, before you ask, yeah, no, they don't count as... <laughs> uh, so let's check this out. Uh, okay, so the old ghastly dress is a pretty good bump with a reduced physical damage. And I got a female piece of equipment. Uh, technically two, but... Uh, plus one to agility. Sure. So let's check out some more of these shops. Hmm. Stationary store. Well, what would you like? Bunch of gifts. <laughs> Fried food oh. shop. Uh... But it's only available at night time. A gentle faced monk. Hey. So if we come here, we can meditate. Huh. And increase our SP. We also have a new vending oh. machine. I've already got a bunch of those, so I'm just gonna leave it. A Chinese hey, bun look. shop. Not two terrible items. I see. Uh, I'm going to be back to this corner later. An incense hmm. shop. Okay, over to the other side we get I see. a grocery store Welcome. of sorts, corned beef special, cereal multi-pack, and popcorn bomb. <laughs> jazz oh. lounge. Yeah, I actually like jazz music. Let's go to the other side. Sweet. Oh. Ah, damn. Hey. For real? What? All right. So let's <laughs> check out the crystal healing first. Take a look around. It has a lot of equipment with some really good effects on it, like the amps. I'm halfway tempted on buying one of each, but that's a lot of money, and I need a lot of money to progress my Come social links. But those amps are really nice. Whoa. Hmm. Hey. I still want to look around just because I want to make a save here. This, uh, this place, the Penguin Sniper Darts and Billiards, oh. is what will allow us to rank up our Baton Pass and Technical Damage. Alright, Bull! That's a new high score! The center of the target's called the bullseye. If you land a dart there, it's called the bull. I know because I looked up the rules online last night. Anyway, this game's called Zero One. You win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player. 
Oh, so you're not trying to get a high score, but get rid of your score? That's pretty different. We both start with the same score. Then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands. And you can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. You can't even be off by a single point. How's that sound? Pretty sick, right? So you have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. This game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. <laughs> One point? Come on. You have to straighten your arm out more and... Hey, Ryuji, what's up? Ah, I was just reading this flyer. It says, darts is a party when you play in pairs. You team up with someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. You still use the same rules I told you, though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? Sounds fun. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Whoa, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening. Here goes. Don't underestimate an ex-athlete. Hell yeah, triple 20. Whoa, he hit such a tiny spot. Quite impressive, especially for you, Ryuji. We're almost down to zero points. It's really focused for this last round. Zero points right on the dot. Oh, ain't we badass? That's no easy feat. You really do have something special going on. Man, this is so fun. When you're on the line, the pressure's insane. But it makes you want to do your best for your partner. And that ranks up Ryuji's baton pass. So now whenever I pa uh, baton pass to Ryuji, uh, he will not only get a double damage buff, but also recover some hit points. And my baton pass, whenever someone baton passes to me, I get the same benefits. Rank 3 is really nice because it also recovers SP as well. Based on the looks on your faces, I'm guessing both of you got something out of this game. Even if it is just a game, it can be some kind of training, depending on how you play. Someone's dedicated. <laughs> well, I do always have the Phantom Thieves on the brain. Let's keep practicing together here. Uh, oh, let's invite everybody next time. Man, all this just from me asking you to meet me here? This is like... Uh, you know, one of those strikes of good luck. A stroke of good luck? Why would it be a strike? Who would protest having good luck? Ooh, what's that? Billiards. Oh yeah, they have pool here too. Hmm. This game could be useful too, depending on how we look at it. Yeah, it's already pretty late though. We can come back and play it later. Ah, and don't forget. We got a couple free tickets to play today, but next time you'll have to pay up. But it was super fun, right? Oh, I really want to play again sometime. Well, we should head home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. So your baton pass is going to rank hey. up really easily. Hmm. As it'll guarantee rank up no matter who you play with. So apparently there's an old man in uh, the place that we just went. We should check it out. Sunday. But nothing to buy, apparently. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I've got sun on me. All right, so. Oh, oh. Uh, let's head over to the promenade first here. Hey, hey! 
So there's a guy around here. I can feel it. Or I thought there was. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep, here we go. Uh, that we need to listen to these guys and collect info. Hey. You got a name? Okay. Got ourselves the name of the target, so we can continue this one as well. Mm. Okay, let's go. I did also hear about a special offer let's do it. being during the night. Let's check that out real fast. Hi! 30 SP for 150 yen. Yes. Technically, it's actually 350 yen, but still, that's pretty cheap, comparatively speaking. I'm gonna head over to the clinic real quick and check something. Please head to the exam room. I see. All right, yes, I can buy accessories now. Take and your more time. importantly, the SP adhesive. I feel like you three. have a different vibe going on. These are expensive as all such hell. A serious look on your face. But my god, are these going to be useful? Try not to suffer any unnecessary injuries. I want the data I collect from you. Oh, did you choose one? I'm going to buy one. There you go. Okay, which one? I developed a new medicine. It'll give you a nice buzz. Uh, and I need to make sure I stock up on more of these before I go to the boss fight. Take care. Anyways, this was the accessory that I was talking about way back at the start. That it's just over the top useful. Probably gonna give that to Ryuji, cause mm, yeah, Ryuji. Uh, oh yeah, life bonus. But most importantly, invigorate. Restore seven SP each turn in battle, and that stacks with the other invigorates. Yeah, I overpaid a little, well, a lot, cause you can buy that for half the price. But. Honestly speaking, I really need to get one of those. All right, juice. What do you of want? Of the Jamba variety. Give me some charm. Mm. Nice. Tonight, we are spending time with the sun. Hmm? I should write something. I do believe that this won't be ranking him up, but might as well make a save just in case. Everyone! Good evening! Oh, it is going to rank up. <laughs> my guide is off. Right away, then. Oh, wait, no, yeah. This, Everyone. Yeah, no, never mind. There are no dialogue options in this one. We you. just listen to it. And... Okay, apparently there are dialogue options, and they just didn't list any, so I'm guessing none of them matter. I want to improve my speech. <laughs> oh, give me a second. I'm not trusting this. 
I'm just gonna let it auto advance. dialogue options and they straight didn't list any so when doing rank two of the sun here uh first one was the middle one which i did choose correctly nice second one uh we can choose either one with convictions or i don't know yet they will both give the same amount Third, you're right. That was helpful. Very well. And the last one. <laughs> follow-up so we get diplomacy occasionally ask for more money or items during negotiations all right <clears throat> we gain a double bump to charm Charm should be reaching I shall next ask you again another soon. time. And on the follow-up, we can choose either the first or last. time. 